I brought him his photo album like you asked. Let's see. Gee, he's not bad looking in an egghead kind of way. Remember, I don't want you seducing him for real. I ain't a creel robber, kiddo. How about the furs and the diamonds? I'll get them to you. shine to Emmett. I'm working on it. Now bring me those furs and we'll be in business. Hey Trixie, are these furs good enough? Well, they're a little ratty, but uh, they'll work. So, you got everything you need for your big scene? Everything except for your friend. Emmett Brown, redheaded guy about yay high. He'll be the one with Edna Strickland. Not for long, he won't. Great. The other woman. Trophy unlocked. safe in there. Doc said to tell him when the light on his diagnostic thingy went green. Hey, the light's green. That means Doc could take the DeLorean out again. I see. Well, Hey, Doc. I mean, uh, Mr. Sagan. Excuse me a moment, Miss Strickland. I've got her neutralized for the moment. How's the plan proceeding on your end? About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The coronavirus analyzer? Yeah, the light's gone green. Wonderful. If the system's checked out, I should be able to take it for another test run. I've got a run short end, Miss Strickland. I suggest you think about what I've been saying. Oh, I will. When did you land this time? Nine hours and 37 minutes ago. Ouch. Frankly, it started to get a little difficult to avoid running into myself. Still, the time jump yielded some interesting new data on the flux field. I'll run some more tests and we'll see what we find. Nope, no green light yet. Alright. So let's walk around doing some more exploring. And then we'll come back. That volcano looks a lot like the one I did for my 7th grade science fair. Times may be hard in Hill Valley, but our present worries fade into insignificance when we ponder our Pleistocene past. Is the wolf knocking at your door? Be glad he's not a Tyrannosaurus, king of the ancient lizards. And if you find yourself drowning in debt, well, you could be drowning in something a whole lot stickier, like the Hill Valley Tar Pits. This peek into the distant past is brought to you by Lamont's House of Urban, reminding you, fur is forever. Let's listen to all the things here. It's the first button. The century looks bright for our fair metropolis. Jump with us 50 years into the future for a peek at Hill Valley circa 1981. 
courtesy of Al's hardware and the collective imagination of mankind. Could this be our venerable town square? Yes, indeed. Though the form looks strange and new, the function remains the same as ever. But where are all the people? Why, they're underground. A network of boroughs extends a mile into the earth, giving future Hill Valley's 10 million citizens plenty of space to work, play, and raise their families. There. Of course, our residents will want to venture forth into the fresh air occasionally. And what better excursion than a pleasure ride in this elevated super train of tomorrow? Agricultural advances will make it a breeze to feed our burgeoning population. Tired of waiting for Mother Nature to do her job? Just press a button. Presto! An artificial rainstorm drenches the valley's thirsty crops. And after the rain, what else? An artificial rainbow, reassuring all the good people of Hill Valley that their needs are taken care of, and life is sweet. Pleasant dreams, Hill Valley, and the Expo would like to remind you that you can find everything you need to transform your dreams into reality at Hal's Hardware. Hal's Hardware, serving our fair city since 1895. Press button to experience future Hill Valley, circa 1981. I don't think I've visited that timeline yet. I wish the courthouse did look like that in 1981. I wonder if that has a massage setting. Alright, now let's go back and check the door in. to you excuse me my dear yes your chronometer's gone green again excellent let's hope this time my test run is a success i'm sorry to desert you again yes well you've left me with plenty to think about I didn't realize how to get up to 88 so fast. Any luck this time? Depends what you mean by luck. My arrival time. Like a not so fine wine. By how much? Eight hours this time. Gave me the chance to take in three showings of Frankenstein. Good movie. A bit implausible from a scientific perspective, but I can see how my younger self would have been mesmerized. What about the DeLorean? Oh, yes. I did get one critical piece of information. The chromium elements in my circuits became unstable during the temporal shift. I should replace them with titanium. Great! Now, unfortunately, titanium won't become commercially available till the coal process is perfected in nine years. Nine years? But there may be another solution. I'm going to fire up the chronometric analyzer again. Then, while I'm storing it, then you can... Uh-oh. We're in the go. The light... Ah! You better get down there before she makes this situation impossible. I'll tend to the DeLorean. And I'll take that. Age to you. perfection. Hey Emmett, I'm back. <clears throat> oh. 
Oh, my. You know, I thought you were coming down here to keep Emmett focused on his invention. Oh, she is. But she's generously scheduled brief canoodling breaks every 45 minutes to keep my mind fresh. Time's up, dear. Let's get back to work. Shall we? Now, Mr. Corleone, what can I do for you? Mr. Sagan says he needs to talk to you back at the high school. He does? Whatever for? He says he's got a lead on the speakeasy arsonist. He does, does he? Well, I'm not sure anyone cares about that old story anymore. But I suppose I could spare a few minutes in the service of solving a crime. Will you be all right without me, sweetheart? It'll be tough, but I think I'll muddle through. Try to keep him focused. He's so easily distracted. Don't I wish. Hmm. There it is. I've been looking all over for my portable anti-stick, anti-stain formula. Where'd you find it? Um, out by the trash? That's strange. I haven't been out there for hours. Oh, well. Are you gonna spray your jacket? It's looking a little dusty. Not until it's really dirty. This cleanser doesn't grow on trees, you know. Well, some of the ingredients grow on trees, but the rest are synthesized polycarbonate really dirty ones. I can do that. I'll wait until you're at the expo to show I know what a suit-destroying slob you can be. Well, that's about it. It is? Yep. As soon as I get all this stuff loaded into the truck, I'll be ready for the expo. Want to lend me a hand? Uh, how about I go tell Edna you're coming? I'll, uh, get her ready for you to pop the question. Good thinking. Go on ahead. I'll meet you there. I really hope this works. time for the opening ceremony. Holy jeez, I better work fast. I think I got it all worked out. When it all comes together, Edna will think you're the worst guy in town. I just need a couple more pieces. Well, don't go to too much trouble. What do you mean? Oh. You thought of an easier way to break them up? Not exactly. You see, I've, I've been mulling things over, and... Uh, in the timeline you're from. The right timeline? Yes, yes. Uh, I've got a wife. A great wife. And Clara, and kids, and a dog, and a bitch in time train, and... And Edna? How does her story turn out? How does she end up? <coughs> oh, well, Edna ends up... Um... To be honest, she ends up kind of sad. Sad? She lives with some cats in a dinky little apartment, and she spends most of her time yelling at her window at people, and collecting newspapers, and living in the past. I see. Perhaps we've been going about this problem the wrong way. Do we really have to completely obliterate my timeline so we can restore yours? Doc? Maybe we could have the best of both worlds. I could be with Edna, but it could be a little bit, you know, more healthy. Can you hear yourself? Do, do you know what you're saying? Let me remind you. She took over your life. She kept you from doing what you were meant to do till there was nothing left of you but this hollow shell. Maybe, but she only did it because she cared. I don't believe this. All I'm saying is, let's stop and take a breath. This elaborate plan to derail my younger self's love life. Is the short-term misery worth the long-term gain? Maybe we can find a third way, one where everybody wins. What do you think? Uh... No! I'm sorry, Doc. I can't go along with what you're saying. You don't belong with Edna. So you're determined to break us up. 
in spite of my stated wishes. Basically, yeah. Then there's nothing left to say. Wait, where are you going? Why should it matter to you? Aren't you planning on overriding me? Trophy unlocked. Timely traveler. Alright, good. 